said that evidence is a body of objectively verifiable facts which are you know, positively indicative of or exclusively. Yes, I know you have that yes. memorized, but we already okay. moved but through the fact that objective facts don't it. exist. I did define that. Yes, your so definition when I, is so no when good. I say now that something that, that we shouldn't assert as fact that which is not evidently true, then I'm obviously talking about things that we can't show the facts to indicate that. Yeah, lots of things are true for which there are no facts. Two plus two is four is which, known to be true is without you no know, without any true. right, but without any facts as you've defined. I'm sorry, you said you said it wasn't even empirical, which it is. Two plus two equals four is an empirical truth. Mm -hmm. It also works with logic. No, I'm it's sorry. You need to go get a book on philosophy of mathematics. I just got a dictionary. It said no, no. <laughs> mathematics. The number one does not exist in the physical world. So any truth of mathematics cannot be a truth of the empirical world by definition. But you can demonstrate. No, that math happens to work more or less is an amazing thing and philosophers still wrestle with why that's true. Theists have a reason for it. Everyone else takes it as a brute given. But it's not an empirically known thing. You couldn't possibly know that math was going to work through empiricism. Um, no, it just works. Which means it's repeated. It's demonstrably um, repeatable. They seem to think that something has to be repeatable to be true. Not necessarily. Right. So good. Let's eliminate that. Hello, I'm Paul Ross, and in this video I'm going to address one of Aaron's fundamental starting positions. But firstly, who is Aaron Ra? Well, I'm glad you asked. Aaron Ra is a very passionate atheist activist. Aaron served as president of the Atheist Alliance of America and as a regional director of American Atheist. Aaron Ra is a militant atheist, notoriously known for his attacks against theism and Christianity. Aaron is a very popular atheist amongst the atheist community for his aggressive debate style. He stands out in the atheist community because of his unique heavy metal Metallica look. Okay, so let's have a look at one of Aaron's fundamental starting positions. In many of Aaron's videos and talks, you hear him refer to himself as an epistivist. What is an epistivist? An epistivist is defined as one who does not use faith to know things. Aaron takes great pride in the fact that he's an epistivist. One of Aaron's favorite mantras is, faith is the most dishonest positions it is possible to have. Now the most obvious problem with epistivism, as far as I can see, is that the word faith is not defined, or the definition of the meaning of the word is not commonly agreed upon. Firstly, as a Christian, I define faith as a degree of conviction, a level of trust based upon good reasons. This definition is widely held amongst Christian philosophers and also in the scientific community. Faith would be a dishonest position if one were being dishonest about why they believe or lying to themselves or others about that belief. Faith would also be a dishonest position if one believed in something that was a logical impossibility. However, faith defined as a degree of conviction, a level of trust based upon good reasons in the absence of absolute certainty is not a dishonest position in any way. Let me explain. None of us have absolute certainty. Even in science, knowledge is tentative, provisional, and can be falsified in the face of new findings and discovery. In the absence of absolute certainty, all of us operate on different levels of conviction and trust. None of us are omniscient. All of us see in part and understand the world around us through models of interpretation. In fact, all we have are models of interpretation, and in the absence of absolute certainty, all we can ever hope to have are degrees of conviction and levels of trust based upon good reasons. No person, no scientist lives and operates in a super realm of infinite omniscient knowing. Therefore, every single person operates in some degree of faith and trust. We have no choice. Is Aaron Ra being dishonest when he has faith that his taxi driver will take him home? Is he being dishonest when he believes the best about people's intentions, even when he does not know their true motives? 
Is he being dishonest when he puts his faith in what the medical experts say, even though they make mistakes? Does he put his faith in what the various scientific de departments say, even though they may be proven wrong by contrary findings in the decades or centuries to come, when their current models of interpretation are possibly overturned? A quick search on Google will suffice to show that in many great geniuses, they have got it wrong. One can find a long list of scientific blunders, and this should be sufficient to establish the need for humility with regard to human certainty. Even the great Einstein got it wrong in regard to his cosmological constant. Einstein later called this his biggest blunder. The very fact that scientific models of interpretation can be falsified means they were never considered being in the department of absolute non-negotiable truth. Fact 101. Truth cannot be falsified. Therefore, the scientific enterprise is not necessarily about absolute truth per se. It's not necessarily about ultimate reality. Apart from omniscience, science as an enterprise has no way of proving the models of interpretation to be true or truly reflective of what ultimate reality actually is. And a gazillion years will not fix this problem because finite knowledge can never arrive at an infinite knowing. Outside of God, apart from God, mankind can never arrive at a true or actual understanding of reality. There is no place that we can stand and see and know reality completely. Science only offers us models of interpretation. All human knowledge is best seeing in part and at worst seeing incorrectly. One certain fact results from not being omniscient. And that is that we can never know what reality ultimately is. Only through omniscience could any correction be made to our present understanding and interpretation of what we think reality is. This truism also applies to our scientific understanding of the true nature of reality. All our scientific models of interpretation remain ultimately unverifiable. Outside of omniscience, the best that a scientist can ever attain in the Department of Ontology is ultimate ignorance regarding the whole picture of reality. Whether Aaron Ra likes it or not, he will have to put his faith in what various authority figures say. In the absence of omniscience and absolute certainty, he will have to put his trust in the science of the day, his trust in the experts of the day, his trust in the consensus of the day. If faith is truly the most dishonest position it is possible to have, then Aaron Ra is a very dishonest man.